Being penalised oh. 50. <laughs> so a chance for Gala now. Handball off to Gisbert's kick towards half forward. Chance at the back. Beautifully done. Beautiful sidestep from Jenna. And Bate can kick the goal. Two in a row for Melbourne. So the margin back to 33. And not completely out of their reach. Now here's the 50 metre free kick. You can see Eddie Betts within five metres. Gave him a warning as we heard. And Gisbert's knocked up getting disposals. 20. I love watching players who are clean in wet conditions. And you can see there Jetta, as you called beautifully, Chris A. Just saw it, went through, took it cleanly. Great stuff. We always talk about in wet conditions skill being something that comes to the fore. That was so clean. That is a really greasy footy. He went and took it and then had the ability to give it off to the right of, to teammate. Fantastic to watch. So the Demons have pulled two back. Still a way to go. Maloney throwing himself in. Jones having a dip. Morton weaving through the traffic. Gisbert's again. Number 21. Far and away the game high. Maloney ploughing. Russell under some pressure here. Scotland likewise. Melbourne lifting. Sylvia. Walker. Scotland. And Carlton Rappel. Scotland runs the full measure. Kicks untidily, but that's not a bad result for the Blues. Oh, he's paid deliberate. Oh! He's paid deliberate. Oh, I had an eye on the umpire. Your kick, your kick mate. He, he had no intention to make ground. He was going the line. You can hear the reason behind it, but as torrential rain falls here at the MCG. What did you think as he kicked the ball, Dars? I thought that he gained a fair advantage, and oh, it's a pretty hard call. Pretty hard to call that deliberate, boys. It is absolutely pouring down. He would have no idea where that was going. <laughs> ball to half forward. Chance for Bunnell. Hard up against all. He's taken front on there. Free kick. How's the, how's the boundary riders position at the moment, Howie? <laughs> oh, pretty average, Tim. Andy Marl was meant to be doing this game. He stitched me up. <laughs> Kick inside, attacking 50. Rain very heavy. Brown almost throws it out to Robinson. Very heavy, you reckon? Chart. It's heavier than that, I'll tell you right now. Now Morton just jams it on the boot, back inside attacking 50. Oh, oh. Anderson tried to fist it, should have tried to mark. Bunnell now, 50 from goal. Little chip kick, Davey, oh, he couldn't oh. handle it. Boundary throw in. So that was a dangerous Aaron Davey. You could just see the way he landed, and Cruz yeah. has come up with a bit of a cork. He's up and OK, but had his legs taken out at the wrong time there, Aaron Davey. This is Darwin-type rain oh. without the temperature to match. Gee. 25 up in the box here, Howie. And dry. Green off to Sylvia. Well done, Robinson was taken high. He'll get a free kick at halfback. He's from Tassie. He's from Lauderdale, which is surrounded by water. Won't be unfamiliar to Mitch. Carlton's lead 33. Anderson, who should have marked a moment ago, inexplicably wet the fist. Might have been able to see it in the rain. Goes for length here. Jamar keeping Cruiser trapped under the ball at the back. Bartram Jamison puts on the pressure. The collect from Wait from a long way. Now will it curl? It does curl. It curls hard, and it's a beauty. Jared Wait's third goal, and the Blues again lead by 39 points. Bombed away, and I think he put a bit of curl on it. Yeah, it was really clever, Tim. He punted it in that direction. He called that <laughs> about a second after it left his boot. Really clever kick. That is using the conditions to your advantage, Chris. Huh? And well under Michael Jamison. He's the one that put pressure on Bartram. And it's interesting, in these conditions, the ball is going to get to the back of the pack. Uh, Bartram and Jamison, the only two that realise that off the contest. It's this rain, how I reckon, is getting heavier. This is the heaviest rain I've ever seen at the MCG now. <laughs> so back in the centre. Chance for Miller. Judd sliding. Chance for McDonald. Gee, no one can pick it up. Chance now for Jamison. Hallahan lost the handle. Bunnell still can't pick it up. Now he can. 
high towards half forward. Mark Daddy says. Oh, geez, through the hands of Russell Tringove. Snap going goal. Has it got the carry? No, well done. Beautiful work down there by Anderson. And yep. Scotland can mop up just inside the line in the back pocket. Got Caranzo running for him on centre wing. Kicks in his direction. And that's a beautiful that is kick. A great kick. In the conditions, superb stuff. And Caranzo marks just back with a right centre wing for the Blues. This might be the rain they had in Adelaide last weekend when Richmond won. It is quite extraordinary. And uh, the appropriately named Rivers fists the ball he over does. the line. There's a beautiful kick from East Scotland. In all seriousness, we haven't had heavy rain conditions in Melbourne for five years, so a lot of players haven't had to deal with this. We also played Etihad Stadium under the roof a lot. The modern footballer is judged so highly on how well, as you see, Kate Simpson come off with uh, a bit of a whack in the nose, it looks like. So the modern player who's used to being measured on kicking efficiency, they're used to kicking short and using the footy, over-possessing it, you don't see current players adjust to these conditions all that quickly, all that well. So as a coach, if you can get down there and say, right, we are now in torrential wet weather conditions. The old school way of playing this is just a game meter. So you actually kick it as far as you can, torpedoes, soccer it off the ground. If you adjust quicker, you can get three or four goals back on your opponents uh, pretty quickly. So we'll see if a side can do it, Tim. And we'll get an older school assessment from Michael Christen shortly <laughs> because he played this game uh, back when rain was really rain and <laughs> you didn't pick it up, you socketed it, exactly. sunk my boot into it, you just gained 20 or 30 metres. Anderson for Carlton, Davy the tackler, strong tackle it was. Scotland though seemingly relishing the conditions. I don't know whether it'll slide out this time and we'll have a ball up, up towards the Demons half forward line. Kate Simpson came off with a split nose, it seemed, and it might have been his Ooh. teammate Mitch Robinson's hard head that mm. got him. So at half forward for Melbourne, chance for Sylvia, somehow got boot to ball, and well done Scott, and that was Courage at the fall. Well played by Anderson, socking, soccering towards the line, and big Jacobs now can gather, settle, assess towards the wing. Two and one in favour of the Demons. Gibbs did very well, fisting it over. And a good result for the Blues. Boundary throw in on centre wing. Bryce Gibbs, not as productive as last week. At 45 last week, Chris O. Just the five today. And probably beaten by Brad Green. Well done by Hadley off the cruiser, who just barrels one inside attacking 50. It was offline. And over for a boundary throw in. If he'd got the line right, yeah, right he idea. might have kicked the longest goal in history there. Right idea. Cousin. The line was wrong by about 35 <laughs> metres. So the Blues up. Tap over the back by Cruiser. And his Carlton teammates weren't awake to it. Grimes to Bruce, now to Jones at half back. Oh, it took a long time to get rid of it. Jetta, too fancy in these conditions. Now, the whistle's gone. And... I'm not quite sure what's happened here. The umpires aren't talking yet, but it's a Melbourne ball and 50 metre penalty. So is it an interchange infringement or is it one of the occasions where a player has been tackled without possession and you advance the footy 50 metres? I think that might be the case. So Jones just bangs it towards oh, full foot. Oh, he's kicked a goal! Oh, can you believe it? No one stood the mark, so Nathan Jones said thank you very much, stepped up, gained a couple of metres and banged it home from 60. Talk about hitting a sweet spot on a footy. He has kicked that as cleanly as you would ever want to kick one. It just, it made a beautiful sound. Struck it so nicely oh. and it just went bang. And there's Dean Bailey saying, how did he kick that? Have a look how cleanly he struck this. Didn't try and overkick it. It actually just sounded good off the boot. The umpire was close by, so we could pick it up on our mic. He hit it in such a good spot. Carried the journey absolutely superbly. Free kick to Jacobs. Jamar's given away a few today, but uh, he's fought hard and done some good things. Oh.